Hello again, I'm back, um, back with the wolf pack, and um, yeah, back on with episode, let me check, I think it's 19, episode 18, sorry, of the Fight Club Pro, Rice, um, local to global, and um, last episode, it was a bit of an indifferent one, we did well in some ways and did bad in others, trying to basically try to figure out who the next wrestlers we can push and get, keep the show going well. So yeah, so this episode is going to be a bit of about the same, really trying to figure out who we can put in there. Um, last episode we managed to find Calvin Tankman as a and Riho um, on the women's side. So we've got two good workers there we can put in in matches, and we're just trying to we're just going to try and put the best shows we can. Try out a few wrestlers in the meantime as well, see if they're good enough to put in there. So yeah, I'll um, be back in a sec with the first show of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, we've got our next episode of Afterburn. So let's see how we're getting on. Um, we're 25k up, so that's not too bad. We did lose 200k last month, though, but that is not good. Uh, we've got some backstage incidents. Have a look at these. Paul London um, gave the locker room a lift, unveiled a series of spots on impression of some of his colleagues. That's good. And then Thomas Billington was um, bright in the mood backstage after doing some several funny cartoon drawings of his colleagues. So there you go. I think the first match I'm going to do on this one is Thomas Billington versus somebody. Maybe Calvin Tankman. Actually, no. I'm going to do Thomas Billington versus Kid Lycos 2. I think they would have a really good match to start the show. Mm, I'll have Thomas win this, I think. Um, I need to do a Levi, Levi Mew pre-show match. Um, I'll have it against Dalton Castle this time. Pre-show, Levi Mule wins. That's that. That's good. Um, do an angle as well. Um, Levi Mule. Microphone, Dalton Castle, microphone. Dalton Castle pretty decent on the microphone, so that should be alright. Um, forgot to, that's a pre-show angle. There we go, like so. Uh, push that there. Right, so that's that done. We'll just do an angle with the Thomas Billington. So we'll do Thomas Billington, microphone. Hit light off microphone. That'd be like a post-match interview. Do a four-way tag team match. And then what we'll do is we'll have POD, Kamikaze, uh, if it'll let me go across, there you go. Uh, Faces of Fear, that's quite a funny name. Um, Marauders, we'll have them, they haven't wrestled for a while, so we'll have them. And then we'll put Totally Tremendous in there as well. And then what we'll do, we'll put the, obviously put the tag titles and we'll have Ashton win this, and uh, Rampage. Retain the titles. Oh, hold on, let's go down here. Ah, there you go. Right, so that's that. Uh, how long have we got left? We've got another, we've got one more match and we need to do a pre-show angle before that. So we'll just have a main event now. Um, we're going to do a 10-way singles just because I want to try out as many people as possible um, to see if they're any good in the ring. Um, so who hasn't wrestled? Yeah, let's, let's go for it, A to Z here. So... Alex Zane hasn't wrestled for us, so we'll try him out. Um, we're not going to try Ben Buchanan because I know he's not going to be good enough. Bill Goldberg won't be able to do it long enough, so Bryce Keith can go in there. We've already tried these out. Colton Gunn we'll put in there. Uh, David, no, we'll leave David Benoit out there. 
Um, Effie, I don't think Effie's wrestled. I don't think Effie has wrestled for us yet. Sorry. Ethan Carter the third. We'll try him. I think Frankie Casarian's wrestled for us, but we'll put him in there just in case. Uh, Gabe Stevenson did wrestle the other day. Griff Garrison, we'll try him out. Uh, Jerry Janella, we'll try Jerry Janella. Right, so that's going to be one crazy eight way heavyweight title match. Obviously, Mark Andrews is going to retain it. And we'll go. We'll try to steal the show. That might be a detriment to the match, but we'll see. Um, we'll just knock it down to 15. Right, so we've gone slightly over by a minute, so we just need to knock that down. Um, I need to go. I oh, know, I've done that bit already. Right, there we go. So let's see how we get on. Um, the angle with Levi Mule, Donald Castle got 34. Um, 46 for the match. Levi Moore got a 41. So that's good. Levi Moore and Don Cass have great chemistry. So that's good to know as well in case we want to put him in a match with somebody that can get into a good match next time. So we'll duly note that. Um, Thomas Binnington defeated Kid Lycos. Got an 81 rating. I knew they'd steal the show. Um, deserve better colour commentary though. I keep forgetting. I keep. I need to change the... Um, situation here in fact let's just right let's uh we've got these here so we just need to put buddy ray in there put buddy ray in that and then we'll put buddy ray in this as well and then we'll put ray here uh, so there we go. All right, let's carry on with the show now. See what happens. Uh, the angle afterwards got a sixty-one. That's really good. Uh, tag title match. Pod retained it. Got a sixty-seven. Rampage Brown wrestled well. Mikey Bird was decent, um, but the rest were a bit rubbish to be honest. Especially uh, Blue Cane went too bad. He wasn't the worst performer in the match. That was Shaper. So I think I'm going to split up the. Um, tag team of Kamikaze. I just I think it's run its course. I think Blue Kane's better as a singles performer, in my opinion. So I might just start pushing him as a singles performer, maybe occasionally having them as a tag team. But um, and then the main event, Mark Andrews retained his title in the 10 way match, got 76 range. So let's have a look. So Mark Andrews, well, that's 92. We obviously know he's really good. Alex Zane was okay, got 68. That's not too bad. The next three were a bit rubbish. Effie got 64, which ain't too bad. Ethan Carr was okay. Kazarian was rubbish. Griff Garrison was rubbish. Jerry Jane got 72 though. So 72 and yeah. So maybe next match shot, maybe next show I might do Jerry Janella versus Mark Andrews in the singles match, see how they get on there. But yeah, the show increased the popularity in one region. Um I didn't do enough angles and it got only got a 60 rating overall, but we've got 105 people. So um I need to Look at improving the morale. I think some. I think the reason why the the show quality's gone down a bit now is to do with the wrestlers not being happy. So what I'm going to do now is offline fix it as best as I can, and then we'll wait, and then I'll come back with the next show. Right, we're back, and um, we've got um, our next pay per view or live event, as you like to call it, World Warriors. So um, yeah, so let's do the first match. Um, I won't do a crazy ten way. Don't worry. Um, probably, probably do a four way. This is a pre show match with Levi Mule, by the way. Uh, Levi Mule, then we'll put who did he wrestle against the other day? Dalton Castle, put him Dave Mastiff, we'll put in there, and then we'll put Aero Star, just leave Aero Star in there. And pre show, and then we'll have Levi Mule. That's the winner. So that's that. Unhappy. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So that's that done. And then we'll just do an angle. Pre show Levi Mule promo. We'll just have him microphone. We'll just do Dalton Castle microphone. We'll leave it as that. We'll bother the other two. 
All right, so that's that done. So that's the pre-show done. And then what we'll do is we'll do, an, we'll do a four-way match to start the show. I'm going to put Blue Kane in there with Chris Sabian. Um, Calvin Tantman and Kid Lycos too. And what we'll do is we'll go 15 minutes. We'll have Blue Kane as the winner. They won't be happy about that, but that is how it will be. We are pushing blue cane. Right, let's do um let's do a three way tag team match. It's alright, my dog distracted me then, sorry. Um and what we'll do we'll do generation next. We'll have POD and we'll have i'm going to put the dino hearts in there I'm just going to give them a try because i know thomas Binton's really good oj hearts not rated very well here but i think the wrestlers should carry this much to a pretty good match to be honest that's that and then we'll have ashton rampage retain them at the moment, I don't know what to do with the tag titles because of the situation I'm in. I kind of had to, I kind of put them on POD for now um, because I didn't have many tag teams. So after this episode, I will start looking at bringing in some better tag teams. Um, but yeah, and then, right, so we need to do some more angles here. So we'll just do Rampage, Ashton's, and then hold on, microphone. Uh, Mark will script everybody. And who was the other tag team? I can't remember now. Uh, Generation X could. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, and we'll just put that there. And then we'll do a women's match now. We'll have women's one-on-one -on -one match. Actually, no, we'll do a three-way singles match for the women's title. We'll have Ginny, Hayley Ray, um, and who else do we put in here? Rio. There you go. That should be a really good women's match. Our three best women's workers. We're going to have Women's, and then we're going to leave it blank. We're going to we're not going to let the, we're going to let the AI decide, and we'll do steal the show. And then what we'll do is all out match. Hopefully they'll be okay with that. They are okay with that. That's good. And we just got to do an angle with these three as well. So Ginny, microphone. She's not good without script, so we just need to script all these. Um, Kaylee Ray, Riho, over there, like so. Right, so we've done 74 minutes. Um, so we've got a couple more matches we can do. We have four way singles. Uh, male. Uh, we'll go Trent. He hasn't wrestled for a while, so we have Trent in there. Maybe TK Cooper, I haven't decided yet. Uh, Rich Swan was pretty good last time we put him in a match. Put Matt Hardy in there, Matt Cardona in there. We'll just do it as 15 minutes. And we'll do a... Do one more... We'll do like a one more one-on-one -on -one match before we do the main event. Um, who else can we do this? Mark Briscoe, maybe? No, probably not, actually. Uh, Laredo Kidna, Joseph Connors we can put in there, actually. Joseph Connors versus... Hmm, who do we have him against? Don't really have anyone that's decent in here. Maybe Goldberg. Goldberg would be not 
very good though. We try Miro again. Probably have to really. Lack of options. We do need to keep finding good workers. Right, so 109 minutes. We've still got quite a lot to do. We'll do another actually we'll do another match. We'll do a women's match. And then we'll have Jetta versus Maya. Mayu, sorry, not Maya. That. And then what we'll do is we'll push them here a bit. And then what we'll do is have an angle with Joseph Connors and Miro. Like so. And then we've got one more match we can do, I reckon. We'll have a main event of Mark Andrews versus um who do we put him in against maybe ar fox i don't think ar fox had a good match last time no we won't do ar fox ck cooper maybe all london uh I'm trying to find the right guy that will work well with him kelly six if i remember i think kelly six was the yeah, Kelly Six was pretty good on the ring, so we'll have Kelly Six in there. Let me just check, see if there's anybody else I'm missing. Really obvious. I don't think there is, though. I think everybody else is not going to be good enough in the ring. We'll just try Kelly Six in there in the main event. We've got 20 minutes. We'll go Spectacle, and then we'll have Mark Andrews. Um, open match, and then we'll go All Out match. Let me put the heavyweight title on the line. Right, let me just check. So we won't be penalised, so that's fine. Let's just check the booking analysis before we start the show. Chris Saban's furious, Tankman's furious, Dalton Castle's furious, it's fine. We'll, we'll just bribe them afterwards and cheer them up. Right, so uh, the angle with Levi Moore and Dalton Castle got 39. Um, 54 rating for the match. Louis, Levi Mule got a 41 rating. Best performer in the match was Dave Mastiff with a 62. 77 rating for the four-way with Blue Kane, um, who won that match. He got a 43, so that's probably the best performance he's had so far. Calvin Tampman was the... Oh, no. Kid Lycos 2 had the standout match here. Standout performance, sorry, 84. So that's good. Um, at least one of your workers in the second is either a turn or get... Okay, I'll change gimmick. Oh, yeah, I've changed uh, Kane's gimmick to be a fan favourite. So it gives a large boost to charisma during matches and angles, so that's good. And then the angle with the tag teams got 50. Um, the match got 74 POD, retained their tag titles. Um, Matt Seidel got a 72 rating, Rampage Brown got 74 rating. The best performer was Thomas Billington though, with a 78 rating. Uh, the angle with the women, got a 54 rating and then the match with the women got an 84 rating which is really good 85 for Ginny 83 for Kaylee Ray and 81 for Riho so that's our three best women's workers here basically um and then we did another match women's match I want I should have pushed this a bit further down the card but oh well um it'll be like a showcase match for Jetta and Mayu Jetta won got a 74 rating and then the other match that we did, we've got a 72 rating, Trent 7 won. He defeated Rich Swan, Matt Hardy, and Matt Cardona. Uh, who was the standout performer? Rich Swan got an 82, so we need to push Rich Swan as a singles worker, I think. Put him in someone. Maybe Rich Swan versus Mark Andrews in the next uh, the next show that we do. I think that'll be a good main event. Um, 69 rating for the Joseph Connors Miro angle. I hate doing angles, I just find them so boring but because of the product that I've got, I have to do at least two or three a show. So yeah, Joseph Connors won and he defeated Miro. Got a 73 rating. Um, basically, Joseph Connors carried Miro. I'm going to get rid of Miro, he's rubbish. Miro was rusty. 
So, but I just don't think he's good enough to be honest. And then the main event got a 77 rating. Um, Kelly Six got an 83 rating, so he definitely did do his part. We could have done with better announcing though. So we need to look into that. But yeah, so let's have a look at the show overall. We increased our popularity to 56 regions, got an overall rating of 77, and we got our biggest crowd to date with 202. So uh, we'll give Mark Andrews some praise. Um, I'll just give everybody a hug. And then Ginny will give a hug as well. There you go. So yeah, so that's good. So we'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, we're back. Um, I already started to book the show and then completely forgot to hit record. So um, anyway, so I've done a pre-show match with Levi Muir going over Effie. And then we've done an angle um, before the show, before the match with the same wrestlers. And then Blue Kane versus Dave Mastiff. And then we've done a post-match brawl. To, so there you go. So that's that. So we're just going to crack on with the rest of the show now. Um, and then what I'm thinking is uh, we'll do Ginny versus somebody. But I want to put somebody different with her because I feel like we're just we're using the same ones. Let's try Trisha Dora. And then women's title. Uh, Ginny retain it. That I do an angle as well with them. Ginny, microphone, Trish, microphone, like so. Um, I'll do Thomas Billington in a singles match. I'll have him against Chris Saban, I think. And then we'll have Thomas win this one. Saban's not happy about that. Um, we won't bother with the heavyweight title match, but yeah. So <clears throat> there we go. Let's see how we get on. Uh, the angle with Effie and Levi Mule. By the way, with Levi Mule, I've had three different wrestlers say how much like star potential Levi Mule's got. So I'm I'm glad I'm starting to push him now because I think he'll be an absolute superstar for us when it's all said and done. Um, in ring performance of thirty eight though, so he definitely needs to keep wrestling better wrestlers and getting better for that reason so um but yeah effie did all right to carry the match to a decent 55 rating and then blue kane defeated leave um sorry dave mastiff um he got a 43 rating which is basically what he's been doing lately he's getting slightly better um as we're going along and then the angle afterwards that post-match brawl got a 50 and then we had Ginny defeating trisha dora got a 74 rating trisha dora didn't wasn't very good, but at least she got some uh, time in the ring. Uh, Ginny carried the match. And then the angle afterwards got a 46. And then the main event, Thomas Billington defeated Chris Saban, got an 82 rating. And um, Thomas Billington was obviously the better wrestler out of the two. So we got a 72 rating overall. We didn't have any popularity changes and we got 109 people coming. So not too bad. Right, so here we are. Um, we've got Afterburn 18, episode 18 next. <clears throat> right, sorry, my dog distracted me then. I have to watch him 24-7. He had his claw. He ran up the stairs last night and then he fell down the stairs as we ran down and he um, ripped off his claw so we had to rush him to the bets but he, he he's not phased by anything it's just like he didn't even realize his foot was bleeding he just he's like, oh yeah my foot bleeding he's such a docile like he just has no sense of danger that dog right um male let's see what we're going to do for the so we're going to put kid lycos versus i think hmm, let's try the artist formerly known as sinkara Try him in the match with Kid Lycos, see what happens there. Now that to kick off the show. And then we'll do Kid Lycos. We'll do an entertainment angle. I've never I had done one of these before, but we'll we'll give it a, a go. Let's 
see what happens it might work out well and then what we're going to do is blue cane versus um we go we'll go kelly six Well, blue cane win. Any six is furious. Do an angle for the match. Fight in and then Kelly six selling. Um, I need to do a pre show match with Levi Mule before I forget. Um, who are we going to have Levi Muir against this time? We go Loretto Kid. We'll go Loretto Kid, see how, how that works out. Yep, that's fine. Um, do a pre show angle with Levi Muir on the mic. Um, right, so how long we got left? So we've done 46 minutes. We've got one more match left in us. Um, so we'll do Mark Andrews versus... Now, who is he going to go against? Um, there was somebody, weren't there? And I can't remember. Was it Thomas Binnington? It might be. I oh, know it was Rich Swan, wasn't it? I can't remember now. Rich Swan. We'll do all that match, open match. Um, then we'll have <clears throat> Mark Andrews as the victor. Right. Let's see how this afterburn episode goes. So 49 rating, which ain't too bad. Uh, Levi Mill got a performance of 32, carried by Loretto Kid. Angle afterwards got a 30. Um, Levi Moore struggles to be off script, so maybe we need to script him a bit more often. Kid Lycos, and um, I'm not even going to pronounce that, but the artist one known as Sin Cara. Got a 79 rating. Kid Lycos won. Uh, I'm going to change his name to Sin Cara when I get when offline. But yeah, he got a 70, which ain't too bad. Uh, Could have done with better colour commentary. Keep forgetting to change it to Buddy Ray. Right, I need to. Buddy Ray. Um, Buddy Ray. Um, oh, Buddy Ray is the color commentator for that one. Oh, yeah, because I just done that one. You silly sausage, Richard. Um, right. right, angle, angle, okay, let's, let's go. The angle afterwards got a 46, Kid Like Our Struggle to go off script, so he needs to be scripted from now on. The angle with Blue Kane and Kelly Six got a 61 rating. Uh, oh, the best in ring performance so far of Kane, I think, he got 45. I don't think he's ever had higher than that, so that's good. Kelly Six with an 80 rating, so he's uh, he's a good hand to have he's he's somebody that can have a good match with anybody by the looks of it but yeah got a 73 rating for that and then the main event mark andrews defeated rich swan with a dragon suplex and that got an 84 rating uh the match deserved better announcing the match deserved better color commentary so even with buddy ray as color commentator it still didn't do very well but decent good really good over, uh, main event overall uh, we've still got no popularity changes. We've got 109 people in and 78 rating overall. So I don't know whether we've hit a wall and now we're not going to get that popular unless it's the, on the TV show. So maybe I need to try and look at that. But we'll see. But yeah, um, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. Um, enjoy. The rest of your Sunday. 
make the most of it because we'll all be, you'll all be back at work tomorrow. Just realised how bad my mask is on me today. I need to push these up. There we go. Right, anyway. Thank you as always for following and subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Please watch the videos to the end. I really would appreciate you doing that. Even if you get bored and you just want to leave it in the background and you just zone out, it helps me. I, I know I'm not the most exciting person in the world. Um, and I'm not trying to like, like poop, on, poop on me, basically. But, you know, just even if you just put me on mute, you can watch me book the shows on mute if you want. But, yeah, thank you to everybody who's been watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'll be back next weekend with some more TW 2020 Fight Club Pro shows. So, see you later. Bye.